I need distractions. Oh, I can't go through what you went through with Charlie. I really can't. It was a nightmare from start to finish. You've no idea the things that I saw. People with their fists in you up to their elbow. Oh, them sewing you up. Cuts, cutting, blood gushing. Oh, it was like a shark attack. I tell you, birth is definitely worse for husbands. I mean, you didn't have to listen to the ear-splitting screams as one congenital fuckwit after another comes in, rummages around inside you, and then fucks off for a smoke. I didn't have an epidural. There were no doctors looking after me. You didn't have to watch them stitching you back up, legs akimbo, just marinating in your own blood and shit. I mean, just great strings of blood, like drool. I don't even get why they invite you to watch. I mean, why would they do that? They just, they just kept showing me your vagina like it was some holy relic. I mean, men are visually stimulated. It's our worst nightmare. Suddenly, this blissful, heavenly organ, this, this radiant jewel that you've been obsessively petting and tending and eyeing with radiance, suddenly becomes the most alarming and horrifying thing you've ever seen in your entire life. I mean, it's a wonder I'm not completely gay by now. Because let me tell you, as a man, when you've had a child, no, 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 no. When you've seen a live human emerge from your wife's vagina, by God, you need a change of scenery. It was blue when it came out. Midnight blue and rubbery like a, like a rubber chicken. I mean, you, you didn't know because you were laying on the table, massacred. He nearly died three times. So that's why we've done this. But God knows why I thought a man giving birth would be any better. <laughs>